Greetings once again from James D. I've gotten a lot of questions about what my BIOS settings are. They think some of my settings can be unbelievable, like with the, the 77714. But uh, I don't usually use that as a 24-7. For instance, when I'm doing the, the video rendering and such, I, I loosen them down to the 88824 because usually there's 12 gigs in there and basically I use three profiles the first one is my 24-7 and this is it you just kind of here let's try to get in there there we go I'll come back in more detail Okay, I use 2.8 for the memory frequency, and that says 15.22. I don't know how well you can see it. Now, if I were to go to 2.10 from here, that'd give me 19.03, okay, which is <laughs> not good for 1600 memory. There are ways to do 4.0 and disabling the turbo function, but it tends to give me a little bit of instability, and it's frankly just a real pain in the ass. Um, you can see 888.24.74. It comes stock as um, 88 for the TRFC and then just auto all the way down. Now for voltage, I have with VDROOP 1.28125, which will keep me at about 31, 32 degrees. The VTT is 1.25. Make sure you set your DIM for 1.65. Do not put that as auto. Now, the 1.65 and the VTT has to be 0.5 or less, the difference between the two. Meaning, if you have, uh, the highest I would go for DIM is 1.67. Meaning you would have to, basically you couldn't have the VTT at 100 for that. You'd have to keep it at the 1.25, or the 125, 1.25 volts, whatever. Hope that's clear. The, dif the difference between the two has to be 0.5 or less. Otherwise, you can start to run into processor issues. Turbo mode enabled. The big thing on this screen here, the QPI frequency make sure you put it at 4.8 not auto if you're running see I was running a 3.4 overclock for a while and I was able to get away from with the 6.4 I've got the 920 deal in which I can select any one I want do not select auto again 4.8 otherwise you might have to um, disable hyper threading which is a stupid idea to do you can see 3.997 now the uncore a good rule of thumb is two times what your memory ratio is I have it at two times plus one so 17 since I've got two eight now you can go up to 30, I can go up to 3800 and be stable, but again that, that's kind of decreasing life, so it's not something I'm very comfortable doing. And then with the, the fan controls, I just keep it at smart fan, you know, that it's not that big of a deal at, at just 4.0. And then 
the second profile I have is virtually the same thing. But these are my memory settings. Okay, now this is only with six gigs. This has not been, you know, very well tested for 12. If you have 12 in, I would certainly set that to 2T. Let's go right down. Leave those three on auto, whatever you do. You can play around with these numbers on your own if you feel like it. Um, you know, I'm not a Bible to go by or anything here. Should I just leave those where they're at? And all of that is the same. So really, it's just that memory that's the difference on that second profile, and. And here is my 4.2. A second. There we are. In which I have the Uncore at Auto. Two eight. Again, 888-2474 auto. Voltage. Here's difference. Without VDroop. This is the profile I use when I want to go to 4.4. .4. I use these voltage settings here. And CPU is, again, 4.8. I've been able to get it somewhat stable at 4.5 using the Elite utility, but I would pretty much stay at 4.4. And also with this profile, I have all the fans on manual and 100%. And again, BIOSes are varying. You know, this is the EVGA X58 SLI LE. So, well, I, with all the questions I've been getting, I just thought I'd show everybody my BIOS. Um, yeah, it's, it's not terribly complicated to do. Um, it takes a little bit of playing around, but... Once you get it straight, make sure you set that to PCI Express. Once you get that straight, you know, should be pretty smooth sailing from there. Make sure you try to find some stable RAM and a very good heatsink or water cooling. So, well, I hope that answered some questions and feel free to contact me or write a comment if you have any others. And have a great night. Talk later.